now the first step would be to remove all of these example pages um, now I always recommend to save a copy um, this main one named KCAD flash framework FLA it needs to stay that name because of all of the publishing XML file and all, all the different things connected with publishing it needs to stay that name but it's a good idea to make a copy of it um, do a save as and save it as like you know examples or as3 examples.fla so then you can retain these examples when you'd like to reference them um, in a working working version um, but just to illustrate what we would do to start creating um, a new application or a new storybook with this is we'd start by just getting rid of all of these examples. So I'm going to select all these keyframes. It's going to hit Shift F6 to clear all those keyframes. And now I just have an empty actions and pages layer. Now I should be sure to put the stop action back into the actions layer so that when we set up our pages it doesn't just play through all of them and it sits and, and waits. Um, but all we need to do with nothing else in here um, now again I can go ahead and delete all of these different pages that were in the pages folder in the library and all the page assets as well. I'll just leave them in there for now it's not a big deal but basically we have this nice and organized so all the component stuff is together the main interface things are together um, just so those don't get lost or confused plus it's a nice place for you to go through the list and make sure you've skinned everything you need to um, but then the pages and page assets folder are really for you to keep all of your imported graphics and all of the symbols that you create um, organized at least at the top level of the library um, so now all we have to do to create new pages really is just make frame labels so we will go ahead and make page one so we're doing a demo and we'll keep it simple and clear um, create a couple more pages at 10 keyframes apart give them frame labels page two page three now without even creating movie clips we can publish and start using the paging arrows and the paging arrows actually are dynamic in that they know whether there's a next page or a last page and see how with only page one page two and page three even though we don't have anything on the screen to differentiate on what page we're on we can tell that at least the buttons are showing up the way they should as if three pages were there.